Hello everyone, Teacher Gaming here. Welcome back to another video on Warhammer 40k Tacticus. Today we're going to talk about the Guild War that is currently ongoing this season and also the anniversary event which has started today. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. Impurity shall be our honor. Hate shall be our weapon. Immortality shall be our reward. So I want to start out talking about the landing pads, which is the new area. And it has a source buff called Angel of Death, as you probably have been aware of since the war is ongoing this season. At the beginning of the defender's third turn, two jump pack intercessors are summoned supporting the defenders. They are affected by all other defender buffs and their stats depend on the rarity cap of the defenders. So, in the epic ones, this isn't good for you. Uh, of course, I'm referring for BF level 2, if you uh, BF meaning battlefield, and if you're higher, maybe it is probably legendary. But anyways, a lot of buffs, if you can avoid the landing pads, then keep them until you have the Medicaid out, so it doesn't have the whole 60% HP. And then if we take a look here, uh, it says here again, and other than that, there isn't really that much of anything, but yeah, that's how it is. Now we are currently in a war, and that means I won't show you uh, too much in the moment. Anyways, something else we can go in and take a look at. We are in the second anniversary event alongside with the Insaguination event, and I am just working on the last part. Uh, just really quickly to show you where I'm at. I haven't bought the offers, I'm doing this free to play. And I am here at the moment, so this is where I'm at. Due to EIL, I was slowed a little bit on one of the um, missions. I don't remember which one, but I was slowed a little bit, so I should have had this done by now. But yeah, uh, real life sometimes happens. So, but still, it's been a fun event. And speaking of events, we have the second anniversary going on, and you get so uh, social shards, and. Yeah, we are getting a lot of Xenos uh, badges. We get shards, we get a good amount of gold actually. And of course during this event, we can actually also, yeah, here there's an offer where you get uh, some skulls, more stuff. There's some bonus shipment where you get more anniversary skulls. And I believe there's also the premium missions like you can see here, if we go over claim. So yeah, bonus shipment, then you get it, and you get more skulls. Now, one of the stats here where you had to defeat 35 units, and there has been a little bit of, I don't know what to say, maybe issue with it, but it was the one with um, instinctive behavior. It does count as normal, uh, even if it doesn't show up. And one of the places you can get this done is an onslaught, actually, in case you were wondering. So you can get it done in there. And overall, I really like the event uh, here. Do a lot of this. Also remember, there's going to be a legendary event soon. I believe it's in 10 days from now. Um, on Tacticus Planner, you can already see the, uh, the different lines. But one thing I want to make sure you guys are working on already. It might be too late for some, but if you are split about where to invest a little bit, I would invest into some Imperials. Uh, Varro, for instance, is actually a good one, also for the Elite missions when you uh, unlock that. Because you have the Gamma Line, which is Imperial only. And speaking of squads you can make, there's a lot of different ones. Varro and Bellator is actually pretty high on the list. There's also Commander Yarek that you can get a lot of points from. And you can also get a lot of points from Asriel, and you can actually combine Asriel with Varro and Bauerquail. It's gone. It's on paper to be a good uh, freeway, and the reason why it's gonna be that is due to Lion Helmet. So friendly units within two hexes block an additional damage. That's really good, and they deal more damage. Overwatch friendly dark uh, friendly dark angels have their block chance increased. So if we go over here, we can see that when you block damage, all the incoming damage is reduced by 14. So this is really good. You get a higher block chance, but also you get this. And that means that uh, for one round, your plasma cannon or your melee attacks damage get increased. So you can actually have 
a combo with this one also because this is a cooldown so you can always have this up and running so you block even if you cannot heal in there Isabella is also a really good one I don't have her but yeah then you can block some damage and um, you have a higher block chance due to Asriel and also if we then go up and take a look at Varro uh, have an added block chance by 50 uh, with 50% to block uh, more damage so you can really make Barraquil a really good tank I think this is gonna be a really important way to get your Imperial only done also because they have a lot of tags where they work together there will be another video on this but those are definitely some ones that I would work on at the moment I am working on my squad getting wide orcs are all gold ultramarines all silver Black Legions I'm working a little bit on, Tau, Dark Angels, uh, got the, the Death Lurper, World Eaters, uh, different places that I have to go in and do some investments. I would love to get more Thousand Sun, and also I need to build here. So, yeah, again, this is a really, really short video just to let everyone know. I would like to know what have you been uh, thinking about the offers that we have gotten so far. I believe the daily offers that we have received, also they throw in some free ones in the second anniversary event. They're actually cr really good, so I like it. Um, tried anniversary events in different games and this is definitely one of the good ones. Like you still get free ones, you get a lot of stuff and also you get an event and social isn't that bad. And the chest have already a decent amount of gold, so yeah. Best of luck in the anniversary event and prepping for the upcoming legendary and also best of luck to your guild in the guild war season 4. Take care.